really care nothing about pleasing people no more because people ain't never pleased, okay? People ain't never pleased. And and that right there is the truth. And you can take that check to the bank and cash it, honey. People ain't never pleased. So pleasing people is an endless battle of unnecessary headaches. <laughs>
I need you to do great things. I need you to exist. Why? Because there's no one else like you. There's no one else like you. And understanding the value that you bring to your life, the value that you bring to other people's lives is the best thing for you. Because at times, you know, I feel like we we get caught in the thought process of, okay, well, I'm everything to everyone but me. And that may be true. But let me tell you why that is. That's because you're not prioritizing you. Yes, it is on other people to be held accountable to be there for you if you need them, right? But it is also on you to demand that the people that you show up for also are ones that will show up for you. And if they are not showing up for you, then maybe it is time to reevaluate your circle. So tip number one, responsible to hold people accountable for how and when they show up for you. If you're sitting around and you're moping in your house and you're depressed and you're going through it, but nobody knows, how can they show up for you? How can they show up for you? It's impossible to. It's impossible to show up for someone that you don't know is hurting. Show up for someone that you don't know is going through it. And sometimes we find ourselves in these moments, and I know because I, I, I too am the strong friend. And if you are the strong friend, sometimes we struggle with the fact that, you know, okay, we can handle our problems. You know, other people that we know, they may not be in a situation where they can handle their stuff. So it's up to us to handle our stuff on our own, by ourselves, because we got it. But you wouldn't be thinking, contemplating, giving up at times if you had it by yourself. Okay? If Go to therapy. Who, who told you, girl, who told you you got to do it by yourself? Child, listen. If I had to do it by myself, honey, I'd be halfway crazy and running up the wall. You go to therapy. D do it for you. Go to therapy, honey. Go to therapy. Do, do that big one, okay? Reach out to your insurance. See what's covered and what's not, honey, and go to therapy. Let's put that on the screen. Go to therapy. Exclamation point. Now, tip number four, prioritize you. Prioritize you, prioritize self-care, prioritize your time with yourself. Now, I explained to y'all in a previous clip that y'all could not hear that I put all this powder underneath my eyes to ensure that I don't experience unnecessary fallout with my eyeshadow because I am obsessed with doing my complexion first. I know it makes no sense, but listen, we're not in the spirit of judgment, are we? I didn't think so. That's why I love you. Now, um, I'm going to play Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush in Red Riot by NYX or NYX. I don't know how you say this, child, but y'all know what I'm talking about um, on my cheeks because, honey, I love a rosy cheek. <laughs> But again, prioritize self-care, prioritize you, okay? And, and, that, and that can be in different ways, okay? And for those of us, and I know there's going to be some that stay there in the back, I don't have time for me. Make time. Make time, okay? Um, and how do we do that? How do we make time? We make time by simply, if you're a mom like me, you're going through it, child. The, the kids is running everywhere and you can't find a moment of peace, but you know you need one, okay? Listen, go to the bathroom. Go, listen, let me tell you something. This right here is my sanctuary. It is the place that I find the most peace. And it is because I can close the door and for a moment, I am not bothered as the question or anything. Now, I'm not going to say these kids not going to come knock on this door if you're staying here a little too long. And it may be through minute two or three that they decide that they're going to come knock on this door. And you answer that question as nice as you know how. And you send them on their merry way. But a tip is if your kids is banging at their door, they don't like that TV show that you put on long enough. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't like it good enough. You need to put on their favorite TV show. You need to put on that TV show that, honey, they not going to move from that spot 
until you come back. Like that, that's the TV show you want to put on. <laughs> and you, you know that TV show. And listen, when you're prioritizing yourself, it is important to prioritize different parts of that. So like I said, for example, that could be you taking a couple of moments in the bathroom to breathe, to cry, to get it out, to pray. Okay, to pray. Honey, listen, I sit in my bathroom and I pray. Honey, sometimes I'm in here on my knees. Right after I get off the toilet and wash my hands, I'm in here on my knees. And sometimes you got to do it. Sometimes you got to do it. You got to put yourself in that place to do that thing. Okay. And listen, for those of you that, that, that don't pray, that's okay. Maybe it's time to meditate and that's fine. Now I'm speaking just to my mothers, but for those of us that don't have kids, find time for you. And all the hustle and bustle and all the conversations and all the people that want your time and attention, it is okay for you to say, you know what? Mm -mm, not today. And that brings me to my next point. Prioritize no. Prioritize no. And when I mean prioritize no, I mean no is a complete sentence. A capital N, an O, and a period. There is nothing after that. I don't need to explain myself. I don't need to tell you what it is that I feel. I don't need to express to you why I'm not going. I'm not going. I don't want to. I'm not interested. Don't like that food. No. Complete sentence. Stop allowing people to guilt trip you into changing your mind. You don't want to do it. You don't want to eat that. You don't want to go there. That's okay. And that's okay. That's okay. Sometimes... I found myself in these moments where, I, you know, I'm pushing and I'm pulling and I'm pushing and I'm pulled because I am such a people pleaser and, well, a reformed people pleaser because I don't really care nothing about pleasing people no more because people ain't never pleased, okay? People ain't never pleased. And, and that right there is the truth. And you can take that check to the bank and cash it, honey. People ain't never pleased. So pleasing people is an endless battle of unnecessary headache. You don't need it and neither do I. So again, I say I'm a reformer. I'm a former, former people pleaser. And in being a former people pleaser, I could not find it in my heart to say no to people. Couldn't find it in my heart to even say no to my child. And that was one of the hardest things for me because, you know, when you love somebody more than you love anybody else in your life, and then you have to tell them no, you don't want to see their heartbreak. You don't want to see their pain, right? You don't want to see them, their discomfort. Okay, because... Because that's what it really is. That's what it really is. You don't want to say no because you don't want to see and experience someone else's discomfort. But what in that situation are we missing? You're uncomfortable. You're going to be the person that's experiencing discomfort. And what about that is fair? What about that is fair? Now, nothing. Okay, nothing. No, nothing about it is fair. Now, there's this random NK makeup eyeliner pencil. I'm going to use it to line my lips a bit, honey. And because I can't seem to find my new lipstick at this very moment, I'm just going to put some concealer on my lips. Because, listen, I'm doing all of this to go nowhere. Nobody wants to see me. I work from home. Nobody wants to see me with y'all. But I do want to complete the lip. So, there's that. And I want to take a moment to go in and highlight, honey, because I love a good highlight. I just, I love highlights. Like, I don't know how people exist without a little shimmer. Without a little shimmer. What? Okay, just a little shimmer. Not a lot, but just a little bit. I'm lying. I like a lot. But for the sake of this, I'm not going to do too much. No. So listen. Now, number five. We on five or four or six. Child, I don't know. I lost count. But listen, just follow the tips. The next one is next tip. 
Okay, because like I said, I don't know what number we are. But the next tip is find yourself a belief system. Find yourself a belief system. And the reason why I say find yourself a belief system is because oftentimes we go through this struggle of I'm alone, nobody understands. Now, I'm going to put in my own view. May not be yours, and that's fine. But let me tell you something. With God, I've experienced days where I'm alone, but never lonely. And it's because I consistently have someone who I can talk to in its raw form. I can say things that are downright mean, nasty even. And I don't have to experience judgment. Because one thing about me, one thing about my belief system is that I'm never judged in it. I don't experience the ridicule that I would, the looks, the, the judgment, the, oh no, you should never feel that way from anybody else. Because this, this entity, this, this being, this belief system that I have doesn't allow for that to cloud what it is that I need to get off my chest. So I, I urge you to find a belief system and understand that you yourself are dictating this life. No one else is. No one else is. I don't care what they say. I don't care how they say it. No one else is dictating this life but you. And it is up to you to show up. It is up to you to not give up. Because the things that you're unhappy with, they can change. But that change starts with you. That change starts with your mindset. It starts with your belief in yourself. It starts with what you become capable of. Because if you feel like you're uncapable of something, you have to become capable. Read that book. Study that craft. Go after the things that you want to. You are in a place of limitless opportunity and why it is because you still have air in your lungs it's because you are still breathing friend that you are ridiculously boldly met with possibility every day every moment every minute every second every hour and i want you to know that you're loved in a powerful way even if it's by this here stranger, somebody that you've never known. But I love you because you exist. I love you because I'm called to. I love you because that's what I feel in my heart for the next person, regardless of knowing their situation, regardless of what they eat, what they look like, regardless of where they come from, regardless if they have or they don't. I love. And so I extend that love to you. I love you. Don't give up. It's, it's too much. It's too much that is going to happen, that is going to occur for you to give up now. And let me tell you something. If you give up, you don't get to see what the other side looks like. And listen, after all you've been through, after all you've been through, you at least deserve not to give up for that. You at least deserve to get up and feel that joy after all of that pain, after all of that sorrow, after all of those complicated situations and jacked up relationships and jacked up friendships. You at least deserve to survive to see that. Now, I love you. You go on and have the day you deserve. Be good to yourself. And remember that we're living with intention and doing us on purpose. I love you.